So welcome back to my channel, this is Gamer Dom. Um, short update video on some of the projects I've been working on. Well, a sort of side track, I guess, of some of the projects I'm working on. Um, I'm actually away at the moment. Um, you're seeing this video, I've uploaded it and uh, scheduled it to go live while I'm away on holiday, away for two weeks. So no gaming for me, um, but nice relaxation, chance to read up on some books um got a load of books don't know about you i never really during during the normal week i i read a lot i read a lot actually i read a fair bit but it tends to be fiction or historical fiction type books uh because they're easy reads and um but on holiday i like to read a bit more serious books so i've got a pile of books that i've been storing up um which will weigh down my suitcase nicely when i go away anyway enough of my to-dos um couple of work uh, in progress projects sort of one's a side track um so my daughter bought me the uh, 88 um the 88 flak 37 from uh, warlords games um and i I'd, I'd forgotten actually sometime i think at christmas i said i put it on my christmas list um and um because i wanted i just thought it's such a great model and iconic um piece of equipment for my german uh, army you can use it in the early war you can use it in the mid war and you can use it in the late war um but and i'd almost forgotten i got it and i have to say i was put off slightly because i watched um oh crikey german um youtuber and i forget his name apologies is it tabletop general i think his name was um doing a build video on this and he talked about how fiddly it was and I'm not a modeler. As I said before many times on this channel, I'm a gamer who models just to get the figures on the table. Um, and so the idea of something that's really intricate, the um, modeling um, put me off, I have to say. And I had visions of chucking it across the room and thinking, oh my God, I've waste, wasted Imogen's money. Um, but actually, um, yes, it's fiddly. It's fiddly as hell. Um, but it's um, not that bad um, although it is supposed to and I is supposed to <laughs> the gun is supposed to elevate uh, somehow it doesn't anymore um, I think one of these struts has also slightly shifted in position but the overall effect I think is not too bad I've got some my oversized br oversized bricks there um, actually seem to fit quite well on this size battle uh, this base uh, the base somebody some tip somebody showed me or I saw on another channel CD perfect size for it absolutely perfect size for it so there you go there's my 88 ready to deal with uh, any kind of armor come up against Russian British French po uh, Polish watch out Neil I'm coming for you um there's a it comes with well there's a, there's a seated gunner there um and then uh one two three four five six extra gunners so it has seven man crew in total which is a fairly substantial number um now the crew are metal they're a little bit small i think um in fact here we go this is yeah they are definitely a little bit sl small the comparison here so on the newer Russian, well, on the Russian plastics. Oops, would help if I move my fat fingers out of the way. Oops. Yeah. That's sharp. So, they're a little bit, they're a little bit small. But they've got a big ass gun, so who cares. So yeah, um, model was fiddly. A lot of intricate little bits and bobs. Um... But actually, the overall effect I think is quite good. It it paints up. I mean, it's simple to paint up, isn't it? I mean, you just um, in my case, I just spray painted it um, sort of German grey, and then just dry brushed it with a little bit of um, um, chain mail, just to sort of get the sort of edges, and then a little bit dry brush with some sort of very light sandy colour, um, and then just uh, washed it with some dark tone and then um varnished it and that is it dead easy um so actually very pleased with how that came out and that's now going to be uh, a useful addition to my uh, german army 
Um, that was the sidetrack really because as you know I'm working on my Russians. Um, so let's have a look at the keeping the artillery theme going. This is the Russian ZIS 3. Not ZIG as I tried to say the other day. So this is a metal model. As that one's plastic, this one's metal. Um, only a couple of bits. Again, I, I, I don't know whether I'm just an old fuddy-duddy or just I'm not I'm not much of a modeler, as I say. But why do they make the models so overly complicated? Um, you know, this I've got I've got a model upstairs, um, Germ, a German anti-tank gun, um, and it was modelled. Well, the, it was a metal kit, and it came, as I recall, in three pieces. Um, this thing came in about six pieces. And you think, well, why? And they're about the same size. And it's kind of fiddly just to get it all lined up right. Um, well, I found it so. But, yeah, I think it's come out all right. Okay, nothing special. Um, and I've got, uh, he's got three crews, so there's, I've done him up as sort of a, Officeory type, and then the grunt moving the shells or moving the charges forward, ready to go. So that that's going to be useful addition to my Russian army. Um, still working through the squads on that, um, and also um, move this forward. Then there's another. Oh, well, actually, I think it's my first LMG squad. That's LMG team sorry um, oops so yeah he's all right mentioned before I find these plastics really fiddly really fiddly to get their arms right but I thought I'd put him so the, the 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 assistant is obviously holding a spare mag is that a mag whatever it is yeah um, it is it is definitely holds bullets I know that much but I don't know what it's called a magazine I guess it is um, and um, pointing the way and then the guy prone firing away so yeah quite happy with that that's another addition to the squad so um, I think I'm up to about two squads an LMG um, uh, two squads the SMG squad a um, couple of anti-tank rifles um, this LMG uh, the light mortar the medium mortar and all the tanks that I've done in the Russians. So I've uh, got more to do, plenty more to do. You can never have enough Russian infantry uh, from what I can see. So i um, quite pleased to actually get that running, but as I say, it's gonna be a way, so there's gonna be a bit of a hiatus, a bit of a, a break from the painting for a little while, a bit of recharge, um, and a bit of uh, inspiration uh, for the uh, inspirational reading for new periods and new things to do. Anyway, thought you'd appreciate a quick update. Um, Thanks very much for the continuing subscriber base, um, up to well over 200 now, which is uh, which is amazing. So thanks for everyone who has um, signed up recently. Uh, if you haven't, uh, please just click that subscribe button and um, say hi in the chat. It's a friendly bunch. I mean, it's one of the things I mentioned in a video I did before I went away. Um, one of the reasons I start this channel was uh, for that sort of interaction you get with other gamers that aren't necessarily in your immediate um, sort of circle of friends um, and sort of getting tips and tricks and ideas so share it talk and that's the way to do it just have a chat uh, in the chat <laughs> chat in the chat anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and as I say subscribe if you haven't already done so and um, enjoy your games whatever you're doing may you dice roll high or low depending on what you need and I'll see you again soon this is Gamer Dom signing out